off and move this out of the way, or take these off, and then get a straight shot at it. So she's an eight. I went to tech school, I know. Unless you're like Drew and were born or anything. Yeah, well, you know everything if you're Drew. <laughs> I can do. He won't watch this video, so we're good. Yes, he probably will. Yeah, he definitely. Will. He'll he'll like some he'll like sometimes comment on random shit. Oh man, I don't know if this is gonna work. Hmm. No. Nope. We're gonna get a lot of tips on how to do this from YouTube. Oh, you could have just taken it to Billy Bob. <laughs> could have just taken it to Jimmy John's lawnmower repair. He'd get it out in a jiffy. Use an easy out. It'd come right out of there. Just drill it for two hours. Wear a helmet on. Wear, wear a helmet on. Oh, man, it's completely stripped out. Dylan, my bad. When it starts making the <laughs> noise, stop pulling the trigger. Oh my God, he was also using a fucking a twelve point. Yeah. That's all I got. <laughs> I mean, if you if you really want to strip something out, put a, a twelve point on there and let it fall off. I see it. Oh, still isn't gonna get it. No. Look how fucked up that note is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So, how does that happen? It's from uh, trying to use a hammer. Doing oh. stuff. Hey, Nick. Yep. Who got that stripped bolt out? You did. I know. Good job. Thanks. I was gonna smack it, but then I decided against it. Ooh. I like power tools. Yeah. Manly shit. I bought my oh. first power tool. Really? Yeah. It was what a is it? A. Uh, oh, uh, what? It was sander. It was actually a sawzall with a dildo on there. <laughs> I, thought, I thought that's what you were gonna say. This guy was selling some KX450 wheel. That, um, Kawasaki wheels, these will fit all models. So I commented, I said, no, they won't. And then he said, yeah, they will if fit all models. I'm like, no, they won't. He said, well, as long as you use Kawasaki sprockets and bearings, then they'll fit. And I'm like, no, I've tried that before. It doesn't work. Well, then he said, well, if you'd ever worked on a bike before, then you would know that they would fit. I said, well, first thing, I haven't worked on bikes before. Second thing, they won't fit because I've tried this personally. Third thing, the diameter of the rotors, the bearings diameter, inner and outer diameters, the hub width, all this stuff won't work. So then he said, look, dickhead, read the ad. I said, you got to use Kawasaki rotors. <laughs> I'm like, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Yeah, then he said, well, yeah, you have to buy spacers that work. I said, well, all that stuff you're talking about, you cannot buy that. You have to machine it. Then he didn't say anything. I called him retarded, and then I commented and I said, I'm sorry for calling you retarded. That was me. My cousin's retarded. I take offense to that. <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so awkward. Got a 17 millimeter nut right here. Just zip that off. As long as you can get a straight shot. Make sure it's bottomed out on all sides. Banned from the gun. <laughs> Stop. Let me see it. Banned from the gun. <laughs> Poor yeah, Dylan. It's completely. Oh my god. Cross threaded and stuck on there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, stripped out. Kind all right. How did you even do that? It was on it. <laughs> is it. What size did you use? I bet Dylan's yeah, face is starting to get hot. Was it tight? Yeah. Oh, it tight? Oh, did it yeah. hit the bolt? Uh, here. Dylan, look, come here. Let me show you I'll so show you, you don't do it again. Like what uh, size is that? Well, then, this doesn't go like all the way on it. <laughs> That's on it, dude. <laughs> all right, look, Dylan. <laughs> Seriously. If a socket is on it and it's loose like that, I know. But then Gary's like, make sure it's bottomed out on there. Yeah, you know, look, bottomed out. look at it from this angle. You see it's where it's completely on. Yeah. He tried to just blame that on me. Yep. Dylan is banned from the gun. <laughs> All right. That sucks because the gun makes it a lot easier. Oh, it does. <laughs> but when you're using a 19 millimeter on the same. <laughs> Dylan is never gonna oh. work for me again. Keep going.
It's not gonna come off. Yes, it you will. It I came in here knowing I had no idea what was going to <laughs> Okay, this wrench makes it way harder. Just <laughs> go with one hand on it, and the other. He's like learning how to work in the dirt bike. Let go. So just, all right. That's what I'm gonna call this, learning how to work on a dirt bike. Just put the fucking impact on there. I could do it with impact. Hey, did you see that one kid said that's a lot of finishing plaques on the wall? Yeah. <laughs> that's the same kid I had a conversation with yesterday. Oh. <laughs> I was like, he's right. Some ass clown put freaking Can't like up. gardening hose on this thing. <laughs> how, do, how does Kyle say that? Kyle, son of the films! Take the top part of the frame off the bottom part. Um, take off the shift mechanism, take off the shift shaft, uh, take off the, the bolt that holds the shift drum on, pull the shift drum out. It's so slow. Uh, <laughs> and then just split the cases. <laughs> at least the oil looks nice and milky though. It does really. Yeah, look at it. Man, it does. Oh, like uh, I thought yeah, I was messing something up. Um, I was like, it's coming take out. Take drain bolt. Stop. <laughs> Man, it is super milky. You smack it. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta. Smack it, bro. Dude, it's like fucking glue. <laughs> it's not even coming out of it. <laughs> Hold it up so I can see the oil. I mean, that was a lot. I don't think that car broke down. There's more water. You can see where the water was separated from that shit. This is gonna be a mess when we take it apart. There's almost no point in even trying to drain it out now. Yeah, you, I was just gonna say, just go ahead and start taking it apart. I've done a lot of oil drains a lot, and that was for sure the worst. All the oil slash water that came out of the engine. Slash, slash, slash. What? <laughs> Gary, show the man how to do it. I'm not, I'm not doing it this video. <laughs> You're not gonna do it if I'm doing it. We have our master mechanic, Dylan Bryant. He's learning how to work on dirt bikes, and then they'd be like, wow, he's gonna be a mechanic? That kid sucks. Almost, but... That's what yeah, he was doing. You got it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> no, we get the other... <laughs> <laughs> Look, do it at an angle, and just start at the top right here first. Hmm, now I can't get it. And then you take this and you line the notch up with the other ones. Don't take that. How did you do that so fast, Nick? <laughs> did you loosen this? Or am I just... No, he did no. not loosen Seriously? this. Seriously? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> this bike is terrible. <laughs> did Dylan loosen that? That was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, just fucking... First time everything. ever getting paper towels from paper towel rolls. Wow, look at this. That's that's great. No, you don't have to tighten it. You just thread it on there and you bend that tab over. He made me stop riding my dirt bike behind the neighborhood one night because he said, every time you go by, you wake up my daughter and she's in a wheelchair. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Exactly, and I'm like, you think I feel bad? I actually did feel really bad. Dylan is still cleaning his hands instead of <laughs> taking the clutch basket out. <laughs> You're, you're going any slower, you'd be moving back. All right, Dylan, just finish Take it up. Take the rest of it apart. So, the Take next the step. Of it. Yeah, all you gotta do is reach in there and, you know, pull that stuff out like a, you're gutting a deer. 